A haircut is a vehicle to get somebody that next job, that next opportunity, a proper conversation. Getting to go in for a haircut or a shoulder massage, anything. Uh, those kind of mediocre, intimate moments aren't felt by a lot of people in the downtown east side. There you go, my friend. Go get, go get some food. Street Thug Barbers. That's pure hey, philanthropy. Cool, it's people volunteering. It's just a, a bunch of people giving back from all walks of life for the same goal for the community. I'm a barber and a hair colorist. I work six days a week and then Sunday I volunteer with my wife and my friends. Sundays are my favorite day of the week. Our barber shop is four blocks away from the downtown east side, Canada's poorest zip code. The news is always talking about it. Everybody knows where the downtown east side is, but nobody ever ventures into meeting the people in the community down there. I mean, I've lived the, that life. I've been on the streets, I've been on heroin, I've used needles in my arm. The name Street Thug Barbers uh, originated tongue-in-cheek with my background, being in and out of prison on drugs. My mugshot, that was 1996. It was a turbulent time in my life. I would bring drugs into the prison, and then after about three, four months of doing that and seeing guys getting high and all this, and the, the fun of doing what I had, was wearing off, I'm like, let me try that. And so I was wired for the next four to six years. After I got out, life as an addict, it's tunnel vision. You're, you only can think about one thing. Downtown East Side, I've used here for years. It, that's why they call it the vortex. People always come back. Jen definitely has changed my life. When I met her, I was on a relapse on Oxycontin because I had a back injury and I'd started taking illicit pills. She hit me with the old, I'm gonna leave you if you don't smarten up your game. And she was worth it. So I went to detox within three days of us having that conversation. I haven't stuck with a lot of things in my life. I wanted to give commitment to something that I believed in. As opposed to just giving some monetary things, we wanted to actually do something. We just decided to cut hair, and we're still cutting hair, and that's all we care about, is that we're down there every week. 162 consecutive Sundays in a row, since August 1st, 2015. Yeah, we're definitely close to 7,000 haircuts now. Every week there's barbers from all over the city that come out. We've had probably close to 120 volunteers in the all park right, that have come down. Enjoy. You get very good feedback, lots of great hugs that you, you know, better hugs than you get anywhere else. Right, I'm doing a haircut and I'm connecting with somebody on the downtown east side, listening to their story. <laughs> Same park that I've had a needle in my arm 20 years earlier. And now I'm here with the love of my life, giving back. It's just, it's the coolest feeling ever.